Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Dell RC engine stack and the real world testing. Now we have previously tested this and it's a pretty damn good stack. It's in the top three tier. It's actually the second best 4 in 1 ESC at the current moment of time. However, with the stack that it comes with, it it's just it's perfect video feed. And why is it a perfect video feed? It's because it has a nine volt regulator on board. So that's one of its main features. Now, another thing what's so cool about this is it has double soft mounting. So it has soft mounting for the flight controller and it has soft mounting for the for the ESC. And why is this? Well, it's because they both connect via pins. And um, when they do that, there's less chance of them breaking. So previous ones that came of this kind of setup scenario, you know, in hard crashes, some people were breaking their um, their pins off. Basically, the XT60 connector would probably pull the ESC from under and then thus cracking it. However, now what they do is, and what you have to follow, is usually we set them up nylon after nylon standoff. But with this kit, what they do give you is they give you these very long metal screws. And you're supposed to use those metal screws so you reduce the risk of it cracking and then breaking a pin. So that's what I did here. I used those metal long screws and then I used the soft mounting. Uh, there is no spacers between them except the soft mounts itself that it came with. And then above the flight controller I added a standoff just to hold it in place. But that's about it. I mean if you take a look in here, the metal screw goes from all the way up here to right there. And then these two right there are just the uh, rubber grommets that come with the flight controller and the... 4-in-1 ESC. However, this is not the all-in-one. This is just a normal flight control from Dal RC with the Dal RC engine in there. And um, overall, the video feed is absolutely perfect. Now, on a previous test, you guys saw that it was absolutely terrible. And it's down to two reasons. This is a pre-production AT Lattel V2. And what happened is it's either the carbon here was uh, making some kind of grounding effect, which was causing that video issue. I'm going to come back and retest this. But once I get a production model, there's really no need to test this. It'll be just a waste of time since pre-production model. Or another thing that because this has no, uh, what is it called? Shielding, it was susceptible to electromagnetic interference from the ESCs. So that was also, those are the two possible causes from, from that noise that we had earlier. And I'll show you that down below while I'm talking. So uh, what I've done is I've just gone ahead and replaced it with the Eosheen TX526, which I have modded. And as you can tell right there, I removed the SMA connector and I just, you know, cut up one of those uh, pigtail antennas and I just stuck, stuck it on there. That's how I love flying these. It's just a headache free. I don't have to worry about breaking this. And I really love it on my, uh, this is my second frog that I do this with. And uh, it just, it's beautiful. Now talking about the stack some more. It takes only 13 millimeters of stack height and I pushed the bottom rubber grommets all the way to the end and um, this thing flies insanely beautiful. It needs a little slide of a little bit of tuning. You'll see that now. I've gone ahead and retested this and this is going to be our motor testing quad on the channel because from flying it, I've, I've put around so far maybe 27 lipos now and flying it, I, I'm starting to trust it. I do trust this quadcopter and these motors, I mean, I saw, you know, some people complaining saying the, vi the, the vibrations were like absolute hell. I haven't tested that method with Betaflight, but however, my, the flying is just beautiful. I, I just enjoyed it. Um, it's just like any other premium motor, to be honest, except the high end ones with the huge amount of torque and stopping power. But it's it's not low end either. Like the feel of these motors are just absolutely phenomenal. However, since it's our motor testing setup, what we're going to do next is we're going to replace it with the F40 Pros 2600 KV, which I'm going to do now. Uh, but right now we're just going to watch the video of this current setup here. And um, it was it was it was a very good setup. And I'm very glad our uh, bench testing here with our four motor testing setup. It just proves to be absolutely phenomenal. I'm not even using a low ESR capacitor. Even though I should, because, you know, even though I don't see in the video feed, it still protects and it keeps the overall system running clean. However, I, I really don't want to add it. I just want to see how long it'll last like this. Um, this is going to be our dedicated motor testing quad. I lost the previous one. I still haven't found it and I lost my old GoPro with it. Uh, that's why I have this new GoPro here, uh, which I got a while back ago. Actually, I was, I was very sad when I lost that one. But anyways, that's not the point. Overall... This thing flies insanely beautiful. And when I called it the ultimate freestyle build V2, I was not bullshitting. Uh, this thing, it's the frog frame. What do you expect? However, this is not your ordinary frog. This is a six inch frog. 
And uh, if you want some six inch arms for your frog, you can go ahead and check the links down below. I do have them at my shop. Maybe I have like, I don't know, 10 sets left, I think. So you can get those and um, it's phenomenal. I and mean, you'll see that in the video if you, in the video right now. Um, it's a new area because the older area that I was with, just, just a lot of soccer games and I'm not able to fly there. And um, yeah, that's really it. So I really, I would highly recommend the Dell RC engine stack, no doubt. From bench testing to flight testing, and this is going to be our motor testing, motor, uh, motor testing quadcopter, because um, I, I, I could totally trust it. The camera is absolutely phenomenal too, by the way. This is the Fox here. Uh, it's like the mini with, with the little adapter thing. I'll leave a link to it down below. I really enjoyed it actually. Um, I didn't feel any latency, and it just, it, it was pretty good actually I really love the, the view on it um, and well I think that's it guys so I'm gonna leave you with the FPV video feed as well as the F HD FPV video uh, together so you can go ahead and check them out and um, overall it was an awesome quadcopter so I'm gonna go ahead and start replacing the motors now and then we'll come back in a later video and test up these F40 2600 kV so I'm very curious to see how well those will turn out but overall these motors phenomenal stack phenomenal uh, VTX Eoshin TX526 it's 11 bucks I trust this one with my life um, I don't care what anybody says it's it's my go-to VTX on every I have over maybe 30 now uh, because I break SMA ports I just throw it away put it on the side I'll fix it later and then I just open up a new pack and I just stick one in there and then sometimes the, with the broken ones I usually end up modifying however this one I put a brand new one because I really liked it I really love this setup here and um, I'd highly recommend it for everyone new newbie whatever because you can just easily replace the motors and you have a premium quadcopter on your hands and um, without a doubt you'll enjoy the shit out of it and that's gonna include it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it please check the links down below it's greatly support the channel and if you could support me on patreon it'll keep the channel going and i will see you next time see you guys take care Let you know